All right, good afternoon. The 18th of September, 2023. I'm out here. Just made a little short video showing what broadheads I'm going to be using this year. And I was talking about the news release that NASA had put out that they have discovered a planet 100 light years away from Earth that has life. And I was also saying without using curse words that's a bunch of bunk in my opinion they haven't discovered any such thing we don't know what's going on a hundred light years from here we don't even know what's going on on our planet to tell you the truth but another news story was that NASA has invented a robot snake now I told you a while ago that NASA's logo has a snake tongue right through the middle of it. They call it some kind of a wing, but you can see it's a snake's tongue. Now, they have invented a snake robot that they are going to send around, and this snake robot, look it up on YouTube, is supposedly going to be to explore other planets. A snake robot. And this is the interesting thing to me. I was already looking up the snake's tongue in the logo and just happened to click over on YouTube and now NASA has invented a snake robot. They're saying it'll crawl anywhere and do anything. Well, if it'll crawl around in space, it'll crawl around on the Earth. And, any, and it's about this big, apparently. This big. But if they, they can make it that big, they can make it this big. What if they got those things made up where they can put them around and sneak around and spy on us? They got drones, but drones can't fly in houses. But these little tiny snake things, they can go in your house, in your wiring in your house, and spy on you. They have stuff like that. I'm suspicious of them. Let me shoot here. Getting ready for bow season. Well, bow season's already started, but it's about, about cooled off enough to where I am interested now. See if I can get, now it's not a deer, but see if I can get one low enough and in the right place on this coyote target. Oh yeah, I'll take that one right there. That's a dead coyote or it would be a dead deer. Okay, back to the, uh, alright, my job is to declare the name of Jesus Christ before men. Tell you about Jesus, tell you what he's all about, make sure you've heard about it, make sure that you can't say, I never heard about it, because I told you about it. Jesus is God's son. He died some 2,000 years ago as a sacrifice to appease your sin. The only requirement is that you accept him as God's son, as part of the Godhead, he's actually God, and that he died for you. Shooting again. That was a little high, but that would kill a coyote. I'm going to shoot one more. I can do better than that. Come on now. Nah, I'm shooting high for some reason. That'll do it, but I, I want to get it down. Let me bring this down where it's supposed to be. Especially on a deer, because a deer will duck when you shoot. He'll duck as he tries to run away. And if you're shooting right at the middle of the deer and he ducks down, you liable to hit him high. And even though that might kill him, likely is that you won't get a good blood trail and you might not be able to find that deer. That's getting it down where it belongs. Okay, back to Jesus. Jesus is the opposite of Satan. Satan is the evil one Jesus is the good one. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The devil is a liar. Everything he says is a lie. Everything that God says, the devil says the opposite. Everything that Jesus said, the devil, the devil is saying the opposite. The devil is the Antichrist. And if you do not believe in Jesus, or if you have not accepted him, 
don't be offended if I tell you you are following the Antichrist. There's no in-between. Either you believe in Jesus or you believe in the devil. I'll take that one. That'll kill too. The time is getting short. The time is getting short in two ways. One way is that the end of the world is much closer than it was a while ago. And that's the time when God will judge the world. It's also getting short because your demise may be coming. You may be six minutes and something. I'm trying to keep this under ten minutes here. Our own death could happen at any time. And my understanding of the Bible is that if you die before you've made up your mind, you may not have another chance. I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know what God can do. God is full of mercy. God is full of love. You've got time to check Jesus out if you've rejected him. Go ahead and check him out again. <clears throat> Don't just go on what somebody told you. Get your Bible out. Read the New Testament, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <clears throat> Give Jesus a couple of days of your life to check him out. Sometimes people make up their mind about Jesus when they're pretty young children based on what somebody told them. You're grown now. Go on, make up your own mind. Read it in the Bible. Read the story. Read the book, Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Find out what really happened. You'll be surprised at what's in those stories. All right, one more shot. All right, I'd like to say the Lord's Prayer before I stop. I'd like you to say it with me. This is the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. And then we'll end this video. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.